Hello, my name is Roz and I'm a recovering yarn snipper. <laughs> and in today's video, I'm going to share what not only helped me have more success with untangling yarn, but also led me to actually enjoying the process. And if you're not convinced after watching the tips here today, well, I do have a solution that's practically foolproof and no, it's not going back to cutting the yarn. Aww. Now, no two tangle situations are the same. I get that, but there are a few simple steps here that can be applied to all of them. So to get started, evaluate your yarn by seeing if you can find a starting point. As you're doing this and throughout the process, the big key here is to use a very soft touch. Imagine running your fingers through your yarn as if you're running it through your lover's hair or your best girl. Most tangles are just a bunch of loops that have wrapped around each other. So you'll be amazed at how many will just kind of unloop themselves from this alone. If you feel any resistance, stop and go back to creating more and more gaps and spaces. If you have a tight spot, a knitting needle is great for this. This will really help loosen things up. And sometimes you can even see the source of that tie or tangle. Use your fingers to help spread the strands and see if you can find an end. If you find one, great. Go ahead and tie it with a stitch marker. That way you won't lose it if you're working on a tangle. If you're untangling the center of a ball or that yarn barf, I found that the yarn attached to the ball is the best place to start. Now, I don't know why this works so well, but it seems to release and unwrap on its own more than when I start with the tail. The next step was a game changer for me. Use bobbins to wrap your yarn as you're untangling. A bobbin is just something that you can wrap your yarn around to help you while you're untangling. I found something with a really nice point helps to get through that yarn with ease. You can use a number of things, but my favorite so far are these double pointed needles. I found attaching a bobbin to both ends is ideal if I have them. And then that way I can work both sides, just swapping back and forth. And this will help me stay motivated. A technique that you can use is called traveling, and it simply means that you're moving your yarn through the gaps to assist with that untangling. But a big tip here that I have is to keep that traveling to a minimum. Only go through that strand if you're absolutely sure you can see your way through to the other side. Otherwise, in my experience, this could lead to more tangles. I found the best success is to just keep loosening up those strands and saving the traveling closer to the end or when I'm at a segment where I can see that trail clearly. Now this is probably the most important tip, but the most boring one to say because everybody knows this, but patience is king with untangling. You may come to a point where it just feels futile. Just step away from those scissors, go grab a cup of tea and work on something else for a while. You know, it's a lot like working on a puzzle. If you give it some time and space, when you come back, you usually find that piece that was eluding you. A quick honorable mention here is a yarn winder. This is a simple, inexpensive yarn winder that I got at my local Michaels. And if I have a fairly simple tangle, I like to join one of the ends to it and start winding as I go. Even if I'm using a bobbin at the other end, it's easy enough to transfer that to the yarn winder later. And then I'm finished with a lovely center pull cake when it's all said and done, which when it comes down to it, these little yarn cakes are ideal for preventing the tangles in the first place. So for me, this is what works the best, working gently, take advantage of bobbins, travel lightly, use a yarn winder when I can, and taking those breaks when I need them. And before I know it, I've actually untangled that yarn that I thought was impossible. But if you're not convinced, but you do have some yarn that you really need untangled, guess what? I do have a solution. There are lovely volunteers out there that are ready and willing to take on the task for you. Yes, you heard that right. They want to do it and they do it for free. There's a community on Ravelry called Not A Problem and they detangle your yarn and send it back to you and the only cost to you is the shipping. Believe it or not, they find it relaxing and fun. I'll go ahead and add all of their details in the description box below the video. You can search by location and get some help. If you love detangling yarn and you have a good tip or technique, please leave a comment. I'd love to know and I'm sure others watching would too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.